Hey, wow, the devil are you? What's going on? Anyway, uh, for those of you who did watch it, I did a video a few months ago on my hi-fi build so far, under a thousand pounds. And the only thing uh, what I regretted, what I said in that video was the fact that I kind of wished I got floor standing speakers instead of bookshelves. Um, to me because you do get a, a bigger sound stage. You know, I, I thought, well, I wish I had, but it is what it is. Anyway, it's been playing on my mind. I'm like, <laughs> I'm wanting to get standards. But the trouble is I'm, I'm one, I'm a little bit thrifty and two, I'm skinned. <laughs> it's very hard for me to buy a, 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 you know, a good floor stander because of the price of them. They do tend to be more expensive than a bookshelf speaker. Now, I, was, I, I had my eye on the 12.3 version of this, the floor standard version of this 12.3s, been reviewed very highly, it's supposed to be an excellent speaker, but a 499 I was thinking, nope, a <laughs> little bit too fruity for me. Uh, so I then set my eyes on the 230s, Wharfdale Diamond 230s. Now I was like, they look pretty good. Now they did have a five star review when they first came out about five or six years ago. Uh, but they lost a star a year later, simply because of the competition had caught up a little bit and they'd overtaken them, so they lost a star. But still, they were really well reviewed. And I've seen that, I've waited and waited, still at 379, they were still a bit out of my price range. And I seen them on offer then uh, in Richard Sounds in the UK uh, for 279. I thought, no, I could possibly push to that. I could put, that's, that's not a bad price at all. So I was thinking about getting them, umming and ahhing, shall I get them or not? And then lo and behold, I go on Facebook Marketplace and there's a set of these beauties. <laughs> they were £150. Now I did offer him £130. He said he was having none of it. He said, £140, you got a deal. So I got these for £140. Quid. What a result! Oosh, 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 yes! <laughs> anyway, so, first thing I want to say is they look lovely. Uh, I don't think the photos online do them justice. They look much better in person. I'm not sure if this video is going to do them justice, but they do look really good. And what have we got? So at the front, we've got the uh, one inch uh, 25 mil tweeter, soft dome tweeter. Got a mid range here, Kevlar mid range, 165 mil or six and a half inch. And you've got the base unit here at the bottom here, which again is six and a half inch, 165 mil Kevlar. Now, also what I like about these is they have a downward firing base port. Uh, now, the good thing about this makes them they're not that fussy where you place them. So if you're going to, if you've got haven't got much room and you've got to put them a little bit closer to the wall, then it's not going to make that much of a difference because of that downward firing base port. I mean, I found about about 25 centimeters or about 10 inches from the walls about right, but it didn't make a massive amount of difference, you know. If I put them a little bit closer or a little bit further away, they're really not fussy where they go. So the placement, where you put them in placement is really, really good, especially if you haven't got the space like I have. I haven't really got the space either. So very good. They have the uh, the by wiring capability on the back. Uh, so if you want to buy wires, buy wire them, you can to your amp. Um, now, I would say the only sort of downside to them really, if it's if you want to call it a downside is the fact that they have this lovely laminate front on here. Now, the 12.1s have a laminate front, but you can cover that, okay? And But the, you can't cover these. So you do get people to come along going, oh, that's nice, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, like, what are you doing? Get off it! <laughs> what are you doing touching it? Put it? And it does get a lot of fingerprints on it. So that's the only trouble with the laminate. You do get fingerprints, but you just got to clean it. You just go, <laughs> okay? It's not a really that much of a bugbear, just clean it off. And the second is, is that even though these look really nice with the chrome surrounds and it's all separated, if you're one of these people who like to take the covers off to listen to your music, then this can be a bit of a pain in the neck. Now, obviously with these, these are magnetic, magnetic, boink, off it comes, there you go, off, when I finished, boink, put it back on. Now, I, I, have, I have kids, uh, I got a five-year-old, especially. I'm not saying she would, but kids do tend to be a little bit curious when they see things like that, and they go, "Ooh, what's that?" And they come up like that and go, 
and pop their finger right in it and dent it in. So I need to keep the covers on just in case, okay? I don't want to keep them off all the time. So I do need to put them back on. So that's handy where they're magnetic like this. Now with these, you have to take them off separately, each one. And again, it's not the easiest. Can you see how wobbly this speaker is? I do have some speaker feet coming for these, uh, some pads to go on the bottom, stop it wobbling. Um, I think when you buy them new, they do come with either spikes or something else, or pads to put on them. But because I bought them second and I didn't have them, I had to buy some pads separately. So that will stop the wobbling there. <laughs> anyway, so. Yeah, so there you are, all right? There you go. So if you're one of these people who want to take them off and then put them back on, it's going to be a bit of a pain in the neck. You've got to do it six times <laughs> and then put them all back on. And they can be a bit fiddly to get back on. You're trying to get the holes because they're not magnetic. They've got the holes there. But don't they look, don't they look lovely? <laughs> they look really nice. Okay, they do look nice. But I don't, for me personally, I can't hear any difference at all with the covers on or off. I'm sure some of you would disagree with me, but I, I'm just going to keep the covers on. It doesn't bother me at all. Uh, I didn't really hear any difference in sound whatsoever. So if you think about it, these are 250 quid. These are 279 at the moment, okay? Why would you want to get with these? Even though these are fantastic, great speaker, the 12.1s are just phenomenal for the price and the size of them. They are really, really good in that price range. In, around that price range, you won't get better bookshelves than them. But, I mean, they take up the same amount of room on the stand. So why would you not pay an extra 30 quid if you've got it and get these? And no, some people are saying, well, do they sound better? Well, yes, they do. <laughs> okay. Uh, what I found, because they've got the dedicated mid-range and obviously the bigger the bigger bass driver, you're going to get a better bass extension and also you're going to get a, a much more prominent mid-range. I found the treble was good, just as good as these. Uh, the top end didn't roll off at all. You could really hear the hi-hats clearly. But what I did find with these is that with the dedicated mid-range is that when you're playing some a certain songs, like for instance, I was playing Dire Straits Private Investigations. And the guitar in that was really prominent, really clear and detailed. I could hear the fingers sliding along the strings. I was hearing things out of these speakers, which I couldn't hear out of these, which is crazy because these are so good. I was very impressed with these 230s. Really, really good sound. Now, I'm not saying having extra speakers is always going to sound better, okay? Uh, sometimes you see it at the cheap speakers, um, not offending any, I won't say any names, don't want to offend anybody, you might have them. But you see them, they have like, you know, six speakers on the front and boom, 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 boom. <laughs> like, whoa, look at them. And people automatically think, oh, more speakers, the better. Well, not necessarily. First of all, you know, these cones are made out of Kevlar. These are quality cones here and quality drivers with a great crossover. Okay, if you haven't got a good crossover and poor quality uh, drivers, doesn't matter how many speakers you put into the unit, it's going to sound rubbish, okay? <laughs> so it just, it's just more poor sounding speakers. That's all it is. And uh, also, you know, the build of the cabinet, the resonance of the cabinet, and all these things got, you've got to factor in with the crossovers, the quality of the drivers, the quality of the, the actual cabinet itself, how well is it braced. So, you, yeah, sometimes more is less if you know what i mean <laughs> okay so, but with these definitely a good quality so anyway so i'm just going to play some some tracks on it so you can have it listen to it obviously it's going to be squashed down by youtube and obviously my mic's not going to be the best but i just want to give you a little bit of a demonstration just you know see them in action or hear them in action i should say uh it will be some youtube music uh from the youtube music library uh, because of i don't want to get copywritten or whatever Anyway, so let's have a listen to the news.
So there you are. Um, I'm really happy with them. I think they sound really great. Just They give a much bigger sound stage than these. Uh, one thing I will say though, that even though these have more bass than these, I still had to use the subwoofer to get those low ends. Look, I got a 10 inch sub, I haven't got a massive subwoofer. It's a SW150 Wolfdale, but it's still a bigger, a bigger bass. It goes lower than these does. So it's still handy to have. In saying that, I did have to just lower the volume down a little bit. It was a little bit overpowering when I had it on the same setting when I was using the 12.1s. So I still had to use the subwoofer. I'm sure if you've got really expensive, uh, you know, much more upper range floor standards, you might not even need the sub. But with these, I did need it, albeit slightly turned down a little bit. Anyway, that's what I think of these. I think they're great. I'm very, very chuffed for my purchase. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.